Do your stance, mate. You aren't doing your stance. That's it. Excuse us a little bit of wind and wait for a new microphone to come to try and cut out the wind. I'm on my new camera. Hopefully it's alright and you enjoy it. But it's a nice camera. It's got all the latest 4K and all that. I'll show you. It's got everything I need. Slow motion the lot. So what we're gonna do, run through a set, some of the setup first. I'm just gonna set the tripod up first, to be honest, and then get the rod out. And I'll show you how I'm gonna set the tripod up. Wait for a wireless microphone, so we'll see how that goes. Right, I'll put it here, I'll show you. This is just a shit. Hold on. Remote control for the camera now, so we'll wireless remote control the camera. I'm trying to keep you out the wind. So basically, there's a bit of breeze on today. It's quite it's lovely and warm. I'm sweating. The day is. of August and it's uh, half past six now tides on its way in so yeah we'll go from here top tides 20 to 20 to 12 so we're gonna give it a go I'm just gonna show you about setting up the tripod you all know these things but just a basic um, rule when you're fishing and stuff and a bit of safety reasons and stuff like that as you know in these videos this is gonna be one hopefully I can put some David this is gonna be a little DVD That'll be available for people to purchase on my channel if they want to guide to their flounder fishing and eels and the odd soil or whatever's in the in this area. There's a big there's a little match of fish here. A batch of fish should I say. There's always a couple of different ones. So you want to as low as you can in the wind. My basic um, setup for flatty in. I've got this new rod that I've had for a while now, and the three piece one for the big full. I've got it real cheap. Okay, that works. So we'll see how it goes. I've had a few flat fish on it, and the indication's not bad. It's perfect for what I'm doing today. The test curve is on the other piece. I'll tell you that. In a I 
deal, flat in, decent bend. Only about 15 pound line straight through, flat in with a four ounce lead on. And there's it is. One to 200 grams it'll cast. So yeah, I'll just get this set up. We're going to fish into that, so we've got the lights and that on, we've got the torches and that. But, don't see many DVDs on channel, I thought I'd do a little DVD or something for people to watch. Nice little reel, it's not... It handles anything I need to do on the flounder sides and stuff. Yeah, just starting, man. All right. All right. Yeah, not bad. You get any? Um, not I fish for a while. I've just been up and down on the head, so coming out today just to get some flat in. Good luck. Like, best thing to do. So I thought I'd do a little DVD or something just to show people how to get into it and don't need all the expensive gear. <laughs> so many people think you need all the latest gear, and you don't. You just need it simple. Yeah, you can go across there now. I've had a few sessions down there this year, but it's been hit and miss. One day you'll get loads, and then the next day you probably just get one, and that's it. Strange. In November, December, December, really. Yeah, we'll be down there for the cod now this year. I've had some nice cod this well, last few years when it was up, and I was getting a few nice cod. And they closed on them, and it's like. But we'll see how it goes today. Alright, nice to see you man. Take yeah. it easy. Yeah, cheers mate, thanks a lot. Another well, happy subscriber guys. Always nice to meet your subscribers. I'm gonna pull this out. This pull's a bit funny on the top of this, you don't really want to freeze pull, so you've got to pull it through. You've got a little switch on the bottom. Happy subscriber, it's very nice to meet them. I can't remember his name, I'm terrible with names, but I meet that many subscribers. rod that catches. I've had lovely bass on this rod and all sorts. I do have a bit of a redo up and all that but she does the job. The old Abel Garcia look. Lovely little rod. Perfect for flying. Just does what it does on the tin. So I'm going to show you what we can do. have a look at the rigs instead of just pausing I'll just get it over and done when I'll show you what, what rigs I'll be using and stuff 
be five ounces today and a four ounce. The bigger rod will take five and the smaller rod will take You don't need not fancy here really, nothing. All the latest leads and stuff. camera so yeah show you the bit some forecaster showers today so
couple of turns of this elastic cotton the crabs are about just keeps you out there for a little bit longer just keeps you bit out there for a little bit longer well gives them a bit more wet to pull it off they seem to get it off quick enough but if you keep going do is rig this up so you can see the cast. It isn't that windy, I've had it worse here so what we'll do. people, the cast out, as soon as it hits the water, they clip the bail arm off and they pull it back down on the stone, tripod, but it pulls it back further, so basically you could build up to 10 yards or so, just on that. Now you can see, with the wind, I've got it nice and taut, so it's fine. I brought two bells today, I don't normally use bells, but just in case I'm doing something I can hear the um, thing going. same rigs tonight, nothing special.
hard work these are digging. It does my back because I've got a real bad back. Shouldn't really dig, but I don't like paying for worms. I fight to keep going. Just gonna put that up here. When you see it like that, there's other ways you can you can keep reeling back or you can just pull into it. You can do a little reel back if you want just to see if it's on. Or you can just do a couple of straight little pull back. What I like to do sometimes is hold it in my hand, pull it back slightly. I'm getting a little pull back so I'm gonna strike, have a little strike. It's not a hard strike guys, you just wanna like this. Another rattle, ferries off out, I'm gonna get one of these in. I'm gonna get this rod in. Um, hard. Getting ready for the ferry to go. No. Yeah. 
these videos just to help people out and talk about whatever I'm doing and just thought I'd do this little DVD as a compilation of a few things to help people get back in fishing or style simple fishing you don't need all the latest equipment to do it I mean 40 quid can get you a rod reel a couple of leads That. Just to start off, basic rod, reel and all that for about 40 quid I bet. I could do that, no problem. Chop around the car boots and voices aren't too bad, they don't do the world's best rods but they're, they're good rods, don't get me wrong, they work alright. <coughs> Can't complain. They work fine for this sort of fishing. But no, it's uh, a pleasant night. As soon as that ferry's gone, give it another 10 minutes after it's settled, we should be into some decent flatfish and possibly some bigger eels. Maybe that bass will be possible. and we'll cast back out and then we'll go on to a few other little top tips and stuff to improve your fishing we're in guys again see that hey <laughs> i've only just chucked that in guys i'm gonna get the camera where it can see me reeling in look i think that could be an eel guys again
have a gale that. Look at that. Hey, hey, hey. That was fighting like hell, I just couldn't get no ground. There we go guys. Give us a thumbs up for that one. down that hill so give us a second let him calm down grab the rag so I'm not getting slammed up just calm down now so I'll show you the fish it's quite a big eel this one to be honest lovely size eel a bit of slime coming off him. Anguilla, Anguilla. It's a Latin name. Let's just show the other camera. Show you the fish now, guys. Yeah. Right, we're going to get him back. At first he went so he's gone back nicely. Right back in a minute. Right, we'll bring you back if we get out else. Give us a few minutes to set up. Got another little bite on that rod but we'll see you in a minute. Again, drop back. I haven't got time to get the bell off. I've got to drop back. I've got I've unlocked the bell probably but I'm going to drop back guys.
cracking eel. Get the pliers out on that so it don't kill itself. That was a drop back, that guys. Proper drop back. I'll just track three times in the moment. He sat halfway down there. Calm down, that's how I like to Just letting him settle down, let the plate out of him. down there, he sat there chilling. They're meant to be out of water sometimes, they, they crawl across land already. That's just what they do, eels, they crawl across land and stuff. Out of ponds, different ponds, gardens. We're going to let him settle a second, and then we'll get, him, get the rag out again. Three eels now guys, three good sized eels. Pretty rare really, don't normally see a lot of eels. It's getting quite extinct. Cut that bell off. I'd say they're getting extinct, a lot of people are the same. And then suddenly, bang, I get them like that. Show you the eel. Another bite on the other rod. There we go. Tilt it back a little so you can see me in a minute. Get the rag. Relaxed now, he's calmed down. It's lovely and calm. He's calmed down, it's quite big on that one. I'm certainly liking that black lug. Still filming, yeah. Very nice long eel. We'll get him back. So, yeah, that's how you tell an eel. You can get a little eyes on it. Big cop though, when he opens up wide. All being lip hooked, so. The rig's been saved. The quicker you get them in, they don't tangle your gear. I'm gonna get this one back. Come with me. Not much of a drop here, there's a little drop, but it'll go back fine. There we go. It'll be fine. He'll fight back. Yeah. So three eels tonight. It's supposed to be a, a mixture video, but it's not bad. I'm impressed. It's quite a record for this year. Start getting the torches on in a minute. Start turning this camera thing around. Hang on. Guys, look, see that? What's that look like? Perfect. Right, we'll bring you back soon. Try and get another one on camera. Drop back. Hang on, guys.
guys. I'm going to drop back there again. Hold on. Drop that one slack. It's another reel. Seems all right. I'll, you can tell it's another reel. I like in this rig. Now we'll change a bit. Hope you can still see, guys. You watch the other one a minute. Drop back at all, I didn't even get a chance to put it. Thing is, when you're running towards trying to get the camera on and trying to strike and all that, I think it was another reel, guys. I'm just going to put this one back out and then you will move that one in because the fourth went but Being a needle again. Both bits are tangled and stripped. That'll be another reel. Back in a minute, guys. Drop back again, guys. You can watch that a minute. I'll just stand for this. You can see 
see that. Got a right round. Nice one there, I hope you'll do really well and catch plenty of fish. I'm just getting back to this reeling in this rod. I'm catching plenty of eels tonight, quite good size and all. Bigger reels will be down short, you see. Shout out to my mate Nathan. Thanks for watching the videos, mate. Much appreciated. Good luck on your boat trip, mate. To the rods off now. We'll check that one in a sec. Just want to see what this says. Yeah,
on our guys. Feels the wind, guys. I'll put you on here because the track was blowing over to get a bit windy. Hell of a bite. Proper bite again. Hammering down the pump. Done again. We can't take in that bit, yeah. Right, we're gonna pack up in a minute anyway. It's getting a bit late on now. Now one more chuck, I think, and then it's getting. It's like eleven o'clock now. I'm Gonna get home for tea. Have a little sandwich at home. Okay. Burn that guys. I'll just burn that.
guys, you know, look after your gear. When it comes to stuff like that, you want safety first, always. See all that?